Hey guys, um, I've done the video, but it, it was a bit boring, so I've tried to jazz it up a bit by messing with the remote control, see if I can maybe change some settings or something, but I wonder what's happened. Oh. Talk to yourself. You get good conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yes, that's right, Derek. And it has been confirmed that the police have detained the Canadian vlogger from the NFI collaboration project on suspicions of harassment and stalking. We are not quite sure of the facts yet, but what we do know is sources close to the victim say they were followed on several social media outlets, including Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. More on the story as it develops. Do you know the worst part about being a part-time supervillain? Being foiled by two anthropomorphic animal superheroes. As a ripoff of Homer's greatest work, we now present to you the Davine comedy. It's an impressionist thing. This is a Mumford and Sons cover. Do it like the baby and the thing with the thing. Hey Nathan, boobies. Hey nerd fighters, I've got clothes on for once. I am Ginger. I am also Ginger. I love Connor and secretly want to be him. What's that all about, eh? Ah, Chelsea. Oh. No, no impression. My precious. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. I'm a professional. No, no, no. Or merciless. I like wearing bow ties and having long walks on the beach. Also, I do not know what emotions are. Am I doing it right? Hi, nerd. Hi, nerd. I'm both drafting a bill for world peace and ringing my mom. Ah, oh, Becky. No impression either. I have opinions about things and hate most people except myself. Sheep. So the subject of today's video is getting into new situations and them turning out to be different than what you originally expected. Now my main example would be YouTube, obviously. Because originally I didn't want to even entertain the idea of vlogging because I thought I didn't have what it takes. And I still don't. <laughs> but even so, after a bit of arm twisting from Elliot and Thomas off the knee, I gave it a go. Even though my first video, I looked like a corpse in a crypt. Because I thought everything looked awful, so I decided to put it all in monochrome, which... I don't know why. Well, I had a movie maker, leave me alone. Nine months later, look at where I am. At the head of a collab of my own creation, I'll never stop reminding people of that, <laughs> with 20 odd people, with new people starting, and we seem to be gaining more subscri subscribers, subscribers even, and everything is hunky dory and fantastic, especially now that Meg has decided to return to us eventually. So, that would be my biggest example. But as advice goes, even if something appears a bit rubbish at first, give it a go, because. As that meme says that I really cannot stand, YOLO, because in some cases that does actually work. You only live once, so give it a go. If you don't like it, there you go. But you could be pleasantly surprised. I mean, let's be honest, since I started vlogging, I've gained a lot of swag. And I mean that in the, the literal sense of new things. Like, I'm sure now I own about 15 different... DFTBA t-shirts or nerdy t-shirts off T-Fury because they have some amazing designs and like even this one I'm wearing which is a Stuart Ashens one it says hello on it which only came this morning so it's definitely something worth doing and wow what a weird theme week this is I suppose another example pertaining to me and trying new things would be 
traveling to see people I'd met on the internet, which, as discussed before, can be a dangerous thing or can be an amazing thing. But at the time, I was quite apprehensive about going to meet my first two buddies that I'd met online, which sounds to be Brandon and William, both at the time off the Ning. Both pretty good friends now, and I've met them a few times in person, and they're, they're pretty funny, especially when drunk. Hopping over cones and piggybacking through Birmingham, but never mind, that's a story for another time. But if I hadn't done that, then I wouldn't have made friends, and I wouldn't have met Niall, and I wouldn't have had a, a blast with him in Sheffield. I wouldn't have met Connor and had a brilliant time in New Orleans, and I wouldn't be meeting him later in the year, and I wouldn't be meeting Sam. And that's life enriching to me, because I'm all about the socialness. Despite being some kind of introvert, I do like social interaction a lot. I know Connor will probably chew me out for that because I said introversion is purely a negative thing and it's not, it really isn't. In fact I will link his video describing introversion on his own channel down now. So I've been Dave and I've said some words. Dave says words. Notice what I did there? No? Okay. Thanks for watching. Elliot, I'll see you tomorrow. So, have a great day guys. Bye. So you've just made it through Dave's whole video. Well done. You win the internet. Oh yeah. Swag.